Well, there was the day I was over at your house and I was going to do pull-ups in that door jam pull-up bar you had, and I started to let my body weight hang on. He tore we down my door this. jam. I didn't tore down the, tear down the door jam, but America, we started he to tore hear, that, He tore down my door jam. He we started to hear a little bit of a creaking, and Kenny was like, maybe not, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I, I do st stretching because the job can be We like to say Pete Peter is farm strong because he has Viking blood in him. Show him the bicep pop. No, Come on. Show him the bicep pop. <laughs> Just pop Show him the dumbbell. Show him the dumbbell. No, no, no. Just give us one. No, no, no. Just one. <laughs>Boys, what's the sexiest thing about a firefighter? I think the sexiest thing about firefighters is that they're actual heroes. They run into danger when everybody else is running away. They put themselves on the line for complete strangers, you know, day in, day out. I don't think there's anything more you can give as, as a human than that. I guess it depends on what your definition of sexy is, because some people could say being a family man is sexy, and I think there's no greater family than the one you find in extreme environments, like what you do in firefighting. Okay, Jimny, Eddie, gear up. You're going with them. Copy that. You harness up, we'll load you down so you can grab them. The sexiest <laughs> thing about playing a firefighter on TV is getting to sit next to these guys. Uh, <laughs> I was joking. Um, oh. Wearing the tight shirts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think, you know, the fact that we get to honor and tell the stories of the, these real heroes and then shine a light on what they do, because I, I think as a regular civilian, you don't necessarily think of first responders day in, day out. So to be able to kind of shine that light on them, uh, I think is a really important and sexy part of what we do. And I, I think the brotherhood of firefighting is sexy as well, whether it's on TV as we do it or in reality. You know, they do depend on each other. And I think that firefighters depending on each other is really sexy, myself. I concur, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 118, let's get to it. I think everybody here would be a great firefighter. I think Peter's strength, I think he'd make a great firefighter. Uh, cool he's, head. he's a natural, he's, cool he's truly a natural born leader. So him playing the captain, it makes sense. He'd be, he'd be a wonderful firefighter. Yeah. He'd be a great captain. I'd let you drag me out of a fire any day. <laughs> hopefully we won't have to. Hopefully. Hopefully we won't have to do that. I think our bonding, it was pretty immediate. Like from season one and then Ryan joined us in season two, everybody just kind of instantly clicked and we have spent a lot of time hanging out together outside of work which obviously only added to it but I think from day one we were making fun of each other as, as you know real firefighters do and, yeah. and that, that kind of chemistry between us all was pretty much instant. Yeah. We've gone on trips together. I mean we've gone our weddings and we've gone to mm. people's weddings. It's incredible. Even in a day's work I have to say I really appreciate getting to hang out with you guys in between takes. I mean it is it is at times a really tough job but I always know I can come to work and hang out with you guys and that and that makes it bearable. Even if we're filming until five in the morning in the cold or if Doesn't we've got our full turnouts on in yeah. 110 degree heat or whatever we at least get a little bit of a break and some camaraderie which is really yeah. nice.